Yellowstone supervolcano, something unusual has happened. It's been discovered by geologists having to do with the volcano gases. This is by Callum Hoare on Express UK. Yellowstone supervolcano geologists discovered this unusual event that occurred at the park and it left them baffled. This is what a documentary revealed. The Yellowstone caldera, as we know, it gets its label because it's a supervolcano due to the ability to affect devastation on a global level. It's between the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, and the supervolcano is constantly monitored by U.S. Geological Survey. They have the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory there for signs that a super eruption could be on its way. Geologists experienced a brief uncertainty in 2004 when something unexplained took place. The Smithsonian Channel's miniseries, This Could Be the Next Mount St. Helens, detailed what happened. The narrator says, this is what he explains in the 2015 documentary, there have been three super eruptions over the last 2.1 years. The last big one was 640,000 years ago. The one before that was 666,000 years ago, prior to that, which leads many to wonder what's next. Well, that's the first time I heard of 666 years prior. Uh, that was meaning that it was 1.3 million years ago. Now, it's amazing that they had to put that number in there, but uh, it's in there. I don't like it, but anyway, I had to say it for you. Uh, I recently learned that there was an eruption uh, 100, about 135,000 years ago, and also the one we know about, about the smaller one at 70,000 years ago, and there were another 80 eruptions uh, since then. Now, in 2004, five bison were found dead in the Norris Geyser Basin, as you can see from the USGS images here. Five animals were discovered by park rangers, and they alerted the geologists at USGS because that means something. They were basically in, in the same area. Bison one was a calf, bison uh, two was an adult, bison three, in between them was an adult, bison four was a yearling, and bison five was a calf. So they alerted the USGS. Dr. Hank Hessler investigated this mysterious event, and he said they weren't in a typical death pose, kind of like a cat that's curled up. It looked like they had just fallen over. We think it was just a very cold night, very still night. The geothermal gases accumulated, and then the bison just basically dropped where they stood. Well, there you go. It's the um, volcanic gases, geothermal gas. One uh, idea that a scientist came to the conclusion with was that the bison had been knocked out by the toxic mix of gases that were emitted by the magma below, the Yellowstone supervolcano magma, that is. And he explained during this series the gases were identified as hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. These are the two gases of what was found just below the ground of Yellowstone in the bo from boiling hot magma. The Yellowstone supervolcano, the geologist said, sits on what geologists call a hot spot, and unlike other volcanoes in the world, Yellowstone is not cone-shaped with a crater on the top. Instead, it's a caldera. It's the largest depression on the Earth, 15 miles long, 30 miles wide, formed during its last eruption, they said. During the same series, the researchers also detailed that the caldera below the park is a quote-unquote, ticking time bomb. And they said there is one volcano in the U.S. with the potential to wreak devastation on a far greater scale. It's located 575 miles away from Mount St. Helens in the northwest corner of Wyoming. For over a century, tens of millions of visitors have marveled 
at Yellowstone's breathtaking, beautiful scenery. But beneath this spectacular beauty lies a ticking time bomb. Yellowstone is one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth, and scientists call it a supervolcano because of the size of past explosions." End quote. Now, the theory comes from the last three caldera forming eruptions, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and about 300, uh, sorry, 630,000 years ago. And there are those who believe that this proves we can expect another super eruption in the future. But USGS scientists say this, as a theory and belief, cannot be more wrong. And their website says, first of all, one cannot present recurrent intervals based on only two values. It would be statistically wrong. But for those who insist, they say list to the math, the three eruptions, 2.1, 1.3, and 0.64 million years ago, the two intervals are thus 0.8 and 0.66 million years, average at a 0.73 million years interval. Again, the last eruption was 0.64 million years, implying that we're still about 90,000 years away from a super eruption that might be uh, coming from Yellowstone that may be overdue for another caldera forming eruption. And they go on to say, nevertheless, we cannot discount the possibility of another such super eruption occurring sometime in the future because Yellowstone volcano history and the continued presence of magma underneath the Yellowstone caldera could bring this about. Now they're talking here about super eruptions. There have been other eruptions then uh, 135,000 years ago, 70,000 years ago, and 80 times since then, that were smaller, of course. And now, concerning the bison of uh, the park, Yellowstone Park, probably the oldest and largest public bison herd in the United States, it's known for its geological uh, geothermal activity and large mammals like elk, timber wolves, bison, and bears pronghorns, moose, and bighorn sheep are there. And the Yellowstone Park bison herd was estimated in 2015 to be about 5,000 bison, 4,900. The Yellowstone Park bison are American bison of the Plains bison subspecies. And Yellowstone National Park may be the only location in the United States where free-ranging bison were never extirpated. Since they continue to exist in the wild, and were not reintroduced, as had been done in most other basin areas, herd areas, bison herd areas. This is, I'm reading this from uh, Wikipedia concerning Yellowstone Park bison herd. Other large free-ranging publicly controlled herds of bison in the United States include the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve in Kansas, with about two and a half thousand animals, Wind Cave Bison, about 350 animals, Antelope Island bison herd, about 700 animals, and Henry Mountains bison herd in Utah, 500 animals, National Bison Range herd near Flathead Lake, Montana, 400 um, animals. So uh, they're called buffalo by park visitors, or bison or buffalo basically interchanges the same word. They have the same similar meaning. Bison might be considered to be more scientifically correct as a result of standard usage. The name buffalo is also considered correct and is listed in many dictionaries as the accepted name for American buffalo or bison. Uh, the, in reference to this animal, the term buffalo dates to 1635 in North American usage when the term was first recorded in the American mammal and thus uh, has a much longer history than the term bison, which was first recorded in 1774. And the American bison is very close related to the Wisent, or the European bison. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.